guys, Dan with Feather Bear Designs. So I'm back again with an, another video. Um, the response for the parts and the um, the single cup turner has been pretty overwhelming. So I've been doing a lot of those. And of course, most people are interested in the one video I did with uh, what I call the PVC arm hack. And that's where you can have your uh, turner uh, bar with these little Nerf balls on there and you can fit your football arm on there. And I started receiving... Um, a lot of people who were, who were doing it themselves, I was receiving a lot of emails that these were splitting. Um, and, and that's because, well, I have some, some suggestions for that. So um, after receiving numerous uh, emails of how to put it on the bar, how to cut the bar, how to put the, um, how to drill the holes and all that, I decided to go ahead and just do a video. So rather than answer all those emails, I'm gonna do a video today. And I hope it helps everybody out. Um, and uh, then you won't have any more questions. I try to be as detailed as possible. You're still welcome to email me. Um, we love all of our fan, all of our fan mail. So, and just a little hint of my next video. As you all know, I am the creator of the PVC football arm. Um, I have to give credit to Heather because she was the one who sent me to the dollar store a very long time ago to come up with something and I came up with it and uh, never really revealed how I did the holes and how I put them on the football arms and so I'm about to blow all your minds you're gonna just be like what um, so after this video I will be doing another one showing you guys how I actually make those um, installing the footballs and making the holes and everything but in the meantime Let's get this done, okay? It's kind of been a little bit of a pain in the butt for people. So uh, if you're ready, um, here we go. So as I said, I'm, I'm actually in the process of building a turner for someone right now. And so I'm going to start this by showing you how I do the bar. Um, you know, I haven't had a whole lot of questions about that, but just to kind of give you an, an idea. So I've, I've made most of the turner, and um, I'm just going to put the bar in like this. Make sure it's in there all the way and you'll notice it's pretty level if I push down on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where I'm actually going to cut this. Um, and let me get my thing. So <coughs> what I do is kind of towards the end of the wood, not too far, kind of like roughly right around in here, maybe about a, an inch in or so from, from the wood. I'm going to mark that like that. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I have a vise. This works really well for me. I'm going to um, close this in. Hopefully you all can see this. I'm going to kind of put it right on the, the mark on the end there. You guys are going to do this your own way, but I got a vise which is really handy because I can lock it in like that. So we're going to cut this. And some of you may have just a regular old hacksaw. Um, with a metal blade and you know what that'll work fine. I mean you can sit here and go at it I mean it'll do it'll do a pretty good job. I actually have um, a uh, Battery operated one. So this is gonna go a lot a lot quicker Okay, and there you go. Now, um, let me put this aside. You'll notice now when I put this in here, pretty much, pretty close to the length, or is that the wrong piece? Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. Um, You'll notice on the end of the bars, that's the way the manufacturer has it. It's kind of a cone shape, so it goes in pretty slick. When I'm done cutting it, you know, it's kind of sharp. It's got little splinters on there. When I when I put these together for people um, and, you know, for you at home when you're doing it, you might want to grind that down so you don't get poked or, or cut. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so here's my grinder. And um, I'm just going to kind of, I, I want this end to look kind of like this end. I'm real particular when I make these for people. You guys don't have to do this. Whoop, where'd it go? There it is. Um, but here, here's what I do.
So now you've got, you know, the, the in the way the factory had it. And then the one I just did, so now it's not um, it's not sharp. I mean it's not as, as pointy, but it's it's nice and uh, ground down. Okay. So one thing you're gonna notice on all of the little nerf balls, um, whether it's these pink ones or these two-tone ones or just straight yellow ones, they all seem to have these uh, seam. You see that seam right there? Goes all the way around the ball. And the only time I had any trouble with these things splitting on me was when I tried to drill in the seam because even though it would go through the seam, if I was lucky, by the time I was trying to push it on the metal bar, it would actually split it open. So what I do is, you'll notice on all the balls, there's actually um, one side where there's almost like a little stamped logo. And I drill through those. So let me show you how, how I do that. Okay, so a lot of you are, re are using regular drills, um, which is fine. This just works much better for me. Um, enables me to hold on to this. And like I showed you in the other video, we're going to drill right through the top of that little trademark right there. Um, I've got a pretty good, this is a drill press. This just works better. I mean, you got, like I said, you guys can use an electric drill. Um, but I'm going to actually set this, set this in here and I'm going to go through here. Uh, a couple things. Th this is, this is really important. So as you're, as you're moving the drill bit down, you want to go really slow to where the bit just kind of scuffs the top of the um, of the ball, and you want to go really slow, careful not to go too fast and and um, split it or have the thing get you know get, get carried away on you. So I'm gonna go real slow. I'm gonna show you how how I do it for those of you who keep ripping the balls. And um, here we go. I'm gonna take the ball. Where's the trademark? And I'm gonna go like that. Now I'm just gonna go down on the on that little mark there. I'm gonna go real slow. You can see it just kind of starts to go into the football slowly. I'm pressing down really slow. No reason to go fast. Just take your time. I'm almost through the ball. I kind of take the, the, the ball, I kind of go up a little bit, like that, and down. You can see the hole. Okay, so I've got my bar, and I've actually, um, off camera, I did the other, the other ball, so I've got two of them, Nerf, nerf balls. So now what I'm going to do is um, the setup. Now I'm going to mark um, where I want my these balls to go. And typically I like one, you know, kind of down here a little bit and then one over here. So when you put the PVC football arm on there, um, you've got a pretty good spread so it's nice and sturdy. One's holding it kind of towards the end and one's holding it down there. So I'm going to make my marks and I'm going to do one um, right about here. And one down here, about an um, inch and a half, an uh, inch and a half or so, right there. And then um, um, we're going to go ahead and, and glue them on. <clears throat> okay, so I got my bar, I got the two balls, and um, I, I still continue to get asked a lot, even though I mentioned it a few times, what glue I use for the PVC arms and the footballs and for this. I, I use Gorilla Glue. Um, the reason why I like this is because it actually has some, some people don't like it cause it has a foaming quality as far as normal glue goes. I like it cause it does have a foaming quality. Um, in fact, it says right on here, wood, stone, metal, ceramic, and foam. Cause what it does is when you put it, um, when you glue foam onto it, the foam, the glue actually goes into the foam a little bit, kind of soaks in there and then adheres to whatever you're, you're gluing to. So what we're going to do is. We're going to take this, and here's a couple of little really cool things you guys are going to want to pay attention to. 
Um, I'm going to bring the football down, or excuse me, the Nerf ball down from the top down to here. And so I'm going to kind of start my glue up above where I marked. So as the ball moves down, it kind of grabs some of that glue. And I'm just going to kind of go around, not a, not a lot, it's kind of a warm day, so it's going all over the place, but, okay. Then I'm going to take the ball, and I'm going to start up, up top here, and I'm going to kind of go on, and I'm going to use my two fingers, kind of going around like that, okay, and then we're going to come down here, we're grabbing that glue. Now as we grab the glue, I kind of want to come forward and kind of pull back a little bit for I really want to get it in there and I also squeeze the ball because when I squeeze it it kind of opens up the 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 ball inside there and it gets some of that glue down there I'm gonna keep going like that squeeze it again okay go up all right so it's pretty good in there now here's something that you guys um, might want to try it works for me once you get it on there, squeeze the, the Nerf ball. Because what it does, it makes the ball spread out a little bit onto the bar. You don't want the ball to be too puffy on the bar because then it's hard to get your PVC arm on there. So kind of squeeze it. Okay. And then now it's, it's kind of squeezed down. There's a lot of glue in there. That's going to hold really, really good. And uh, now let's do the second one. Okay, so um, I went. I took a paper towel and I cleaned some of the top that glue. If you don't, as this as it dries, that'll kind of drip over the top of the ball, and you don't want that. So I kind of took a paper towel and cleaned it. And now we're going to do the second one. And so we're going to go from this end, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the glue sort of top of the mark all around. Okay. And we're going to take the ball and go down. Same thing. Grab some of the glue. Come back. Go forward. Pinch it. More. Okay. That's pretty much where I want it. So now I got it there. I'm going to pinch it. Make sure it's nice and flat on the bar. Again, if you, this is really important, guys, because I've had problems putting the arms on here if I don't really kind of squish it down. So you can see it kind of spreads out a little bit on the on the bar. Okay, so I'm going to um, stop here in a second, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and clean this up, too. Okay, so it's all done. That's how you do it. These are on there really, really well. These are not going to split. You can see the seam goes across this way instead of this way. Um, so when you put it in your turner, put it in and there you go. That's it. I hope that helps everybody. Um, for those of you who have football arms or will be getting football arms, um, when you put, when you push this on, you know, you can go all the way up to there. So your football arm will come out kind of like that. Comes over a little bit. So you might want to put a, um, cardboard or something like that. Cause these are 13 inch arms. If you don't like that and you want to go maybe that far, you can cut that down, but that doesn't leave you a lot of room to, to grab. But um, anyway, I hope that helps, and um, I'll be talking to you some more.